Balvenie single barrel sherry cask, 15 year, 47.8 ABV. Three of the dummies love this bottle, and one of them is right. What is up, guys? Hey, guys, hey guys it is Scotch for Dummies. For guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. This one looks delicious. Yes, but delicious. Look at the color of this bottle. Pretty popular distillery. For today, we're talking about the Balvini ah, 15 them. single barrel. Balvini? This is unique in that this, this barrel, this bottle, is one of 800 bottles out of this barrel. Now, the weird thing is, Balvini has lots of bottles of the 15 Sherry Cask single barrel line. They just have different casks they pull it from. Lots of them. So right. it's all single cask work. You can't and you can't tell from the can what cask it's from. But if you look at the bottle, right. each bottle so, is individually numbered with the cask it came from and the bottle number out of that. So what does that mean though? Does that mean there's gonna be different versions? Yes, essentially they, they, they do what they can because they have a they have a tasting panel that goes through and, and selects barrels for this 15 year sherry cask single barrel selection. So they try and get them close. But that's the, but it's a single barrel. It's a single barrel. You're never gonna. They're never gonna be exactly the same. You could you can barrel the exact same new make out of the same still into different barrels, and it's gonna come out differently. Consequently, this is cask number seventy six forty eight, bottle number five twenty nine. So, question for you then. Obviously, mm -hmm. you're any of you guys are at a liquor store randomly throughout the states, whatever, and you see a bottle fifteen. Mm -hmm. How many times are you gonna look at it and go? I need no. I can't buy this one because it's not part of that cask. I mean, they're generally Correct. not. Keep in mind, yeah. I mean, Belvini, they they care about quality. They care about consistency as much as they can for this specific yeah, bottle lineup. However, I, we have seen in the past certain caskings have been more popular than yes. other. Not just Belvini, but different distilleries. Oh my gosh! Absolutely. And all of a sudden, they're gone. Yeah. So you do look for numbers. Yes. Yeah. Um, Glendronic yeah. is a good example of certain numbers. Edredor, Glendronic are both. Yeah. yeah. Right. So just uh, as an FYI, if you're looking for scotch, sometimes it's pay, good to pay attention to the numbers and batch numbers. Consequently, yeah. these are, um, what kind of a sherry butt was this? I said Ooh. it was all European oak. Which makes sense. Yeah, so, uh, does it say, so you're talking or PX? You're talking, European uh, oak sherry butt, that's all it we It doesn't get. say what type of no. sherry. 500 liters. In yeah, a barrel. That's, a, that's a full butt, yeah. yeah. Um, it's it's a big cask. Yeah, it's a big cask. Um, I like big casks. It's sherry butt, so I, I cannot <laughs> lie. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's color. <laughs> it, it definitely spent 15 years sure. in it's, a sherry. It's not cask. finished. It was 15 <clears> years <throat> in that cask, yeah, absolutely. Now, this is a pretty salty bottle as far as your it wallet. It is. It's running at uh, buck 35 Ooh. Take, U.S. That's on the high end of a 15-year-old. In, in mid, yeah, that's on the high end. Mid-2020, that's $130. I, I will say the one thing about the single barrel, Ooh. like it's not cask strength. No. It's 47.8. This right. is well, that, that's why they can get so because right. I think you can only get about 500, 500, maybe five twenty five, maybe six hundred at the most bottles out of a butt. Yeah, because they do that. You lose alcohol, you lose volume. The angel share right. as it ages, especially fifteen years. So yeah. they're well, and you know they're probably adding water to get it to a more like if you're bottling at cask strength, every cask is going to be extremely different. Mm -hmm. So you know, watering it down to get it to a, a specific yep. ABV that everybody shares that kind of makes sense in this mm -hmm. in this practice, I guess. All right, well, that's, that's nice and I did too. That's nice and chocolatey on the palate. I can't believe how dark it is when they <laughs> added water to it. <laughs> yeah, so you know, it, it comes out of the barrel probably sixty percent ABV, give or take. So they water it down to forty-seven. Mainly to create consistent. You and this can, is you can create one can for all of them. Wow. Non-chill non filtered. Wow. Natural yeah. This color. is like brown sugar toffee yep. cherry. Yeah, it's almost with a hint of almost too sweet. Mm -hmm. Heart of space side. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is right dead smack in the middle of the space side. So hint of mango. Mango. Where'd yeah, you get that? Are you a tropical fruit? It's um, right. It's right. I'm getting some. Yeah. It's got it's got really it's awesome. It's like right there. If if you can visualize, it's like right there in the very top part of the, of the smell. It's mm -hmm. like right. I get up front. It's brown sugar and molasses and sassafras. Mm. Sassafras, mm. right? Like mm -hmm. um, and there's there's some some tea, some like fresh brewed tea. Yep. 
And then it, it kind of fades into some nice spice notes like this. This mm. is really good. Mm. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good whiskey there. And this is a nice balance, guys. Well, I smell that black tea on it. Yep. But I do, I smell the mango too, which is yeah. really weird. Yeah, sort of. I mean, it smells like it's dried, like it's uh, like in a right. tea bag, a dried right. mango, a dried it, fruit. It, just just a, a hint of it though. Just a, And it could be some other tropical fruit. That's just what comes to mind for me. The palate's delicious. Even even creaminess on the palate, like uh, I don't want to say marshmallow. We use it all the time, but it's got a creaminess to it, like like butter, like a toffee uh, and cream, like butter, butter toffee. Yeah, it is. That's nice. It's ridiculously good. Um, oh, it's nice a little wood finish too at the end. It's mm. got it's got a density and a depth of flavor that at forty seven percent, I'm I'm kind of surprised by. I guess it's full. Um, it's a really full bodied whiskey. It really is. Um, wow. Because usually when you start at like a cask strength, like that's kind of what I expect is like a really dense full bodied whiskey, and then as you water it down, it kind of steps down those flavor profiles a little bit, and it lets you get to some other flavors, but it doesn't really bring you that like depth and and full bodied feel. And this one has all of that. Um, very interesting. Glass. I gotta tell you, I, I'm curious. I'd like to put this one up against that uh, Glendronic Revival. Yeah. I, well, we we've been talking about doing the shoot off. I mean, I sure this, shoot up. It's been a while since I've had a glass of that, so I really uh, don't have it fresh on the mind. You know, someone to, has a the, bottle of that. Uh, mm. Maybe I don't, I don't know anybody who has a bottle. Maybe of that. We're, we're we're I'm fishing, okay, guys. <laughs> Of course, I think, course, I think sure. you have like three of them, don't you? I know. I, I, no. now, if you want to talk about the 18s and the 21s, that's a different story. Sounds like watching me like a hawk. Don't you even do it. <laughs> Back up, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, but you're right, though. This this qualifies, absolutely qualifies for a sherry bomb. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Now, I, I would say I'm not as... It, it it doesn't have like freshness in the palate. It's kind of musty and dry and... I didn't get as yes. much sweetness on the palate. As, I gotta be as, honest; it's actually getting the more I it opens up, it's just it's actually turning more to a, like a dark coffee. To me, it's getting know. more better. To me, it's definitely it's mm -hmm. it's got the sweetness, but it's it's like from dried fruit, like dried currants and things like that, where you get sugar, right, but right. it's it's not like sweet, sweet, not like a burst of sweet. Corn. It's it's kind of in the back, like you know, just to kind of even things out, I mm -hmm. guess. So what kind of sherry do you think this is? Would you say Oloroso? I would. Yeah. I think so, right? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't taste PX. But I mean, God, it's a good though. Man, I hate to put water on this, you guys, but I got to. Oh, okay. I, put I don't some think water it's going to hurt it at all. The nose has actually opened up more. It's a little astringent, I think, on the, the finish. A little dry. More mango. Yeah. Really? Yeah, less sherry, more mango. Something else is there too, the spiciness to it. The spice is kind of dialing up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's the, crazy. The more it I is. drink, don't Which you guys find it interesting? The nose is definitely lighted, lightened up a lot. It's, it's an interesting glass for sure. Like well, you could sit and drink this for a long time. It's got a long finish, a long, uh, you know. I say this a lot, but a lot of these uh, old Orchard Sherry's have a black tea finish that that really. And this right. one really lasts. It just kind of mm. lingers. Mm. So, I mean, when you read the little description on the side of the bottle, it, it point blank says that, that the spice he, as in the malt master, expects from maturation in this type of cask. Mm. Which, I mean, he's expecting spice to come out of that urine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's no doubt about it. And actually, I was talking before we got on camera, there's a little write-up on the side of the bottle that I really find, uh, I appreciate. They're talking about the non-chill filter um, on this bottle, and they actually say that, you know, at lower temperatures or the addition of water, there will be a little cloudiness, but that does not impact the, the whiskey in any way, shape, or form. So if you're not familiar with chill filtering or non-chill filtering, what that means, don't be afraid if you put a little water and it gets a little cloudy. That's natural. <clears throat> you guys are going to like it with water. It's really good. You know, actually, there's a taste that comes to mind. I got a, a Drew taste going on here. So if who That's all has sweet. had a peanut butter oh, parfait, at the very bottom... That last little bit of hot fudge and ice cream, a little it. bit of salt. That's my palate right now, in the end. 
I can see that. I can't bit. believe you would even bring up a peanut butter parfait I know. in the midst of a diet. I know. <laughs> that, that's but that's where it reminds me of. But, I'm like, oh, I really want Although right everything now. reminds him of that right, right now. now. <laughs> exactly. He dreams of it. You know that I water I drink? Right? Peanut butter mm. parfait. <laughs> <laughs> but if you know what I'm talking about, that fudgy, uh, chocolate, yeah, oh, yeah. creamy vanilla. Oh, There's it, it, a hint yeah. of salt, too, a brininess uh, to it now. I would say, and, and I was thinking about it while you guys were talking, that on the, on the end of the finish... It's got like a salty, mm-hmm. I almost want to say like a beef broth kind of thing. It's got a, yeah, a richness yeah. to it, but it's got like a little bit of that sodium mm-hmm. character as well. It's, it's this really is a good nice. For me, it's funny. Go on. Well, but for me, the, this, I think the water really balanced better. You know, I was kind of fighting it before. Mm-hmm. It, it, it felt bitter and there's something there, but the water just kind of brought the sweetness up just enough for me that it really balanced it better. Yeah. On the palate... What you described, it actually, the very end palate, it almost had a little bit of a carbonation effect in my mouth. It almost, it, it, the, the spiciness, it, the way it ends with the salt, you guys brought up a little bit of a briny note there. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's really an interesting feeling um, for a, a real late finish on it. But I think the water made the nose incredible. I mean, it's just so, so much the water. The water really nose. helped it out, which is surprising. Um, I mean, it's still kind of, it good makes weather. decent ABV. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah. But it holds, it holds, holds water really well. Now the the thing about scares me about giving this this dram this bottle uh, a number is the fact that what they're watching if you go out and buy a 15 it might not be this bottle. Now we don't know. we don't know what their what their expectation is as far as quality across all the different casks. I mean I'm right. sure they try to have some level of consistency but let's be honest guys it's Single cast impossible is single cast. To make all those casts taste the same. Right. It, oh, yeah. They're all going to be l- unique. Literally impossible, yeah. So I, I hate to, to, to have anybody go out there. If you have the ability to open it and look at the bottle and you see your be, cask. And you your, should your, be able to do that. I mean, because it's not on the, the, the can, like Andrew mentioned. Well, but I, if I were me, I would want to at least have them take it out of the can so I can see the color, so I can see the cask number. Like, Excellent, yeah. You're spending over 130 bucks on a bottle of liquor. They can open up the game. They can open up the game. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, was this, one behind, was this one behind the counter when you no, got it? No, it was on the shelf. It okay. was on the shelf, which and we could have opened it up and pulled it out. Yeah, right that's not, I think you can look at it. So. All that aside, I'm still going to score this one. Yeah, are you ready to go? No, no, I'm going to... Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'll go. All, All right, right. good. All, right. Bring it up. All right. So, Balvini Sherry Cask 15-year-old single barrel. All right. That's it. This bottle has some complexity that is... Okay, but not fantastic. And so, the, okay, so quick, what's my score going to be when I say that? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it out a little bit. Um, so neat, it was, it was okay. It, it had some, some nice nose. I like the oak on the mm. nose. Um, but then the, the palate wasn't, wasn't there for me. It was a little, little unidimensional uh, and a little, bit, a little too bitter on the finish. You added the water to it. It brought it up really nice. It brought up more sweetness. It brought up more leather. And then I brought it up at even more water where it's starting to get cloudy. So I think it's gone bad. Oh, <laughs> Milk's gone bad. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so it got cloudy, as you would expect. Oh, and, and, and that leather, it's like a soft, supple leather now, which is really kind of nice. And I, I like that palette. It's not my everyday whiskey, but it, it's really pleasant. At $1.35, though, it's salty. Yeah. I don't think I would pay that for this. Um, really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help that. I'm not sure. I'm, pay, so, I'm, I'm not sorry. sure. Paying a dollar thirty-five for anything. But <laughs> That's the, know, there's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I, I don't know if I'd put this on my bar um, because there's lots of other things you can get that are great for that price. So I'm going to give it up. It's probably worth a two-five because okay. it is. Um, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it, it definitely not turned it away. But I don't know if I would personally. Yeah, buy you're going to drink it up for you. Oh right? yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, I'll go. So I want to call out Wheelhouse Whiskey. I think this is a bottle, my friend, that you would really enjoy. I know that you like the sherryness. I think this is a no bottle that will surprise you. It's. It, it, I will agree. I'll start off my review as it's pricey. It's on the <laughs> upper end. However, it's a 15-year-old, and it's freaking good. I'm going to tell you, I, I actually really enjoy this bottle. I think neat. It was a little edgy. I liked what I had, It was, but it, it really blew you away with the sherryness. It had some nice complexity on the nose. It had a decent complexity in the palate, but once you add water to it, man, I got even more things on the nose than I had before. And then the palate really opened up and rounded it off for me. I really enjoy it. The only thing I will say is there is some nice wood finish to it, 
I wish it had a little bit more influence, something something a little bit more wood into it to kind of yeah. balance off the bitterness. But overall, with a nice front sweetness to the sheeriness to the little chocolatey and, and kind of toffee fel- flavor on the end, I really like this bottle a lot. Um, <laughs> Were you fingering over there? I see I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving Sean. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm giving Sean the, the signals. Um, I'm, like, I'm guessing I, Drew's. Been I am. Uh, I'm trying to be more consistent at my numbers and everything else. I, I got ding it for the price just a hair. Um, <laughs> however, if money was an object, I'd, I'd definitely buy this bottle. Um, I'm gonna give it a three five. Woo. There you go. Keep him on the mound. There you go. There he, you go. He didn't wave me off. Nope. He did not. <laughs> he did not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do wave you off, though. <laughs> All right. Get away. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, All right. Shit. So, really, I mean, when you look at this bottle, I had some high expectations just from the color. Sure. You know what I mean? Um, 15 years in a sherry cask is going to give you an awful lot of flavor. Mm. Um, and it gives me everything that I would expect out of this. There's definitely influences of, of European oak. Um, you get a ton of sherry for your buck. A ton of sherry. Mm-hmm. Um It was, I think we used a lot of descriptors on this bottle that we haven't previously used. Like I pulled sassafras. I mean, we... (laughs) Mango. Mango, peanut butter parfait. (laughs) Like we had beef broth. Like it was some very interesting... Let's just say something um, right there. So, I mean, I pay attention to that kind of stuff. Like what are we actually describing? If you're talking about like, well, it tastes like, you know, some leather and I got some white pepper and it's a two. (laughs) <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, there's definitely some descriptors that were like, yeah, we use that all the time because it tastes kind of the same as the last one. Word count. <laughs> this one had some unique Word flavors, and, and I enjoyed it very much. It held up with water, um, and I think the water brought forward different characteristics both times that I put water on it. Mm-hmm. So so I thought that, you know, it's got some depth and complexity. Does it have, like, a, a ridiculous amount of depth and complexity? No, but I think for a 15-year, it's developing quite nicely. I wish they would have left it in that butt for another, like, Ten five years. or ten years and then oh came back gosh. to me it would have been ridiculous yeah. uh, but as it is it's very nice I agree 135 is I mean that's a little bit salty and I'm kind of disappointed that they watered it down to 47.8 I mean I, I, it would have been interesting to see them bring it into market at like 50% or maybe even a little bit higher yeah. than that just because you could have gotten a little bit more to play with on your sure. glass, right? right. Yeah, but, uh, but then they're going to charge you 180 But we'll say it's better with water, though. It, so. True. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to dig it a little bit, but not hard. Um, I'm I'm going to go with the 3.5. I think it's got plenty of depth really? and complexity to, to go with that. What did you say? 3.5. All right, man. Five. So I'm all over this. Um, <laughs> no, you're trying to figure it out. <laughs> no, no, I got it. So I, I, I'm talking, it's funny, I'm sitting here going over po- pros and cons on this, right? One thing that I got a little bit different that I didn't hear any of you guys mention, and you may think I'm crazy, but with water on the nose, and it takes a while, let it, let it open on the nose, there's a little bit of a, um, I don't want to say menthol or like vapor, or maybe it's clove. There's a little bit of something yes. else I'll on the nose clove. that I, I think, is that clove? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, that's really interesting to me, right? So I'm sitting here thinking, Man, I really like that. that. That's nice. I'm I three five, and I'm like, you know what? 135 bucks, <laughs> out of three. And then I'm like, um, but man, that last sip was really good. Water, three five. And then I'm like, you know what? Man, for a single barrel, I really wish they could have told me what kind of sherry it was. I mean, really, you guys, you're trying to be all transparent. You couldn't tell me this was Oloroso, this was PX, or it was just crap. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter because I like it. So three, three five. I'm, I, I literally, I've been going like this the whole time. Um, go to the flavor. To be consistent to and flavor. to go, to, exactly, to just put all that aside, shut my eyes and take a drink of this, it's a 3-5 whiskey in my mind. I, that's just it. Without all those other considerations, just close my mind and enjoying the whiskey that's in this glass, the way I've got it poured, yes, I've watered it down just a little bit. I agree with you. If they would have given it to me at 50, I think I could have dialed it into the spot a little bit quicker and a little bit easier, but that's okay, whatever. <laughs> to be fair, I say that about everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's not nothing new for me. Uh, exactly. I get it. But I honestly think this is a deserving bottle of whiskey. I'd hate to see what the price is at the bar. Oh, I'm sure they're going to really yeah, hit you on your belt. You know, yeah, $40, $50 yeah. a glass. But um, don't ever pass one up. I get it if you can't afford $135. There are some other sherry bombs that do stand toe-to-toe to this at lesser price. I'll give you that yeah. much. But if you're talking about whether I enjoy the, just scoring that whiskey, it's it's good. It's delicious, and it's got a lot to offer. And I'll tell you this much. I will go look for a bottle of this, personally, because I want to yeah. have it in my bar. 
It's really nice. It's good. Yeah. All so, right, there we go. All right, guys. So, th- what'd you do? Uh, two five. Two five and three three fives. Yep. So we know who's right here. This guy. We know we're going to have an interesting discussion the about The exception it one way that or proves the rule. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Every Thursday night, we are live, so we will see oh, yeah. you Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern. Absolutely. See you. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. I mean, and I love all the meat, but I've never been like, it's one of the best ones I've had. Yeah. I mean, we had that 21.